Well, you might be wondering why I feel the need to make a video about washing dishes, but in Scotland at the moment, at least while we're still part of the UK, gas prices have hit their highest ever level. Electricity isn't much better, so dishwasher people you don't really get off easy here. So this led to me asking myself a lot of questions and can I wash dishes in cold water to save money? Has any research been done into the matter? Can a video be made out of it? Is there any information out there just now? There was lots of little bits of information, but this video is an amalgamation of everything that I had to read and study when I was looking at it. Basically the guide that I was looking for at the time. So the general wisdom I believed is that hot water plus washing up liquid allows you to kill germs and remove grease. We all know that high temperature kills germs, especially those of us who are the proud owners of a food hygiene and safety level 2 catering certificate. Woo! Um, this is the only qualification I have. Uh, apparently you can't add up the first year of university three times to make a degree. So let me have this. There is my baby. So the first piece of research I found was from the BBC on their show Trust Me I'm a Doctor and that concluded, according to someone called Dr Miller, it's really about the scrubbing action. Research has shown that the temperature of the water doesn't really make a difference. So a good scrub is more important than the water temperature and research shows that using washing liquid to kill bacteria is what makes that important. And they've gone on further in the article to talk about how air drying introduces less bacteria than using a dish towel to dry them, which has been my philosophy for years. I just let things sit in the rack until they dry. I really can't be bothered drying things with a towel. And if it ever fills up, I'll just slap it in the cooker behind me and just make some space there. So there wasn't a lot of reading out there in the end. Uh, there was that one BBC thing, lots of random posts and mums there. I just had to test it myself. My testing says that the grease and things stuck onto plates and pots and things become harder to remove in cold temperatures. It requires more effort, more scrubbing and potentially even damaging the plate in some cases. Let's not talk about that. And you also have to wear rubber gloves to keep your fingers from going numb from the cold. Probably not the best time of year to conduct this when it was minus four outside, but hands are dealt. Was it worth the experimentation and me going through all that? No. So what did I learn from my week of experimentation? Uh, yeah, things became harder to wash. Not everything could be clean, so eventually sometimes I would just have to cave and turn the tap on, which kind of negated all. But I was able to at least say, this week I used the hot water tap more for the dishes and this week I didn't. How much did I save? Pennies. Like literal pennies, it wasn't worth it. Yeah, the cost of gas is up. And yeah, you know what, the planet is dying, I'll, I'll give you that. But at the end of the day, I don't own a car, I don't fly a lot, and I'm a very impatient boy with full-blown ADHD. So I need the dishes to get done. The fact I'm doing them at all is a miracle. I'm gonna treat myself to some hot water. So does that mean you should just go at it with weld abandon and turn the hot tap up all the time? No, at least try and be efficient with it is what I learned. You know, make the whole process as efficient as possible. You can take a couple of steps inside your house just now, like go and have a look at your boiler and see what temperature the hot water is set at. Mine is set quite low because it still comes out quite hot even at that level. And there'd be no point in you say having the boiler turned up so hot that you then have to add some cold water in to make it safe for you to touch without risk of scalding yourself. That's the easy thing to do. So use an efficient boiler, don't overuse the tap. At the end of the day, I'd much rather you did that, keeping everything efficient than trying to use the cold water because it just doesn't work as well at the end of the day. You can feel high and mighty about it, but that doesn't mean you're right. The main thing I can say is I tried it, so you don't have to. This was not a good experiment. I did not like using the cold water to wash the dishes. It took twice as long. And then you can get into some kind of argument over what's the most precious resource here. Having to run the cold tap near enough consistently to try and keep the water clean just to try and get the stuff sorted. Whereas if I use the hot water, I use less water. Granted, I live in Scotland and that's not an issue, but if you live in somewhere with a water meter, that's something to consider. Now, if you excuse me, I need to figure out how to make a video about cocka leaky soup that the YouTube Autobot's taking me down. Haven't figured it out yet. May need to change the name in that one, but I'll see you next time with an actual recipe, hopefully. Bye bye. Do they know how to fix a tap, by the way? Because this thing comes off every five minutes. It drives me crazy. And I cannot find the right size screw to go on here. I become a master at reattaching this.